So, 2018, a fucking bra year, like, got to say. But in terms of personal stuff, it was probably one of the worst years of my life. Uh, for example, I had a loving wife, and then she took the kids and left, and we got a divorce. But you know what I've learned, as long as you have the Minecraft manual 2018 and read it every day, you'll begin to understand that you don't need a wife, because the one woman I've learned to love is Minecraft Steve. But yeah, this year was pretty shit, a few well-known celebrities died. The main three I'd say who affected me the most were Stephen Hawking, Stefan Carl, and Avicii. Stefan's death definitely affected me the most, since I grew up getting to watch Lazy Town every Tuesday afternoon at my grand's house after I got home for school, when I was a wee boy. And I got to see the demigod himself, Robbie Rotten, trying to live a quiet life and stop the fat fucking kids like, um, big fucking donut muncher Ziggy, and the shenanigans from being too noisy all the time. But if, like me, you grew up in the early 2000s or even the 90s and watched Lazy Town as a kid, you'll understand and you'll most likely be affected by Stefan's death. Like, I can guarantee you that the majority of kids who know who this guy is, like, nowadays, is because of the memes that were made on him and, like, the weird number one and shit. And not because they actually watched Lazy Town itself, which is a wee bit disappointing, like... Now, while we're moving on from the bad news of this year, I have one more horrific thing to talk about that can't be ignored. Fortnite. Right, like, please don't click off this video just because I mentioned that. Don't worry, we're gonna be bullying a lot of kids in a minute. Now, I don't think that Fortnite itself is a bad game, to be honest. In fact, for being a free-to-play game, its mechanics and graphics are amazing for what it is. But every time something promising comes in the corner, you always have a horde of shitty mouthed eight-year-olds constructing a disease-like fan base that spreads faster than the plague that fucking creamed one-third of Europe. Listen, the game's alright, but it's way too overrated for what it is. I remember the first time I heard about it when I was in, I was sitting in my physics class at school at around January 2018, maybe even December of 2017. And my teacher was trying to find an article on something, and he stumbled across one of those, like, dodgy websites with ads that take up around 85.3% of the entire fucking screen. And then an advert that I thought was some shitty mobile game on the Android, uh, came up. And then some mongoloid at the back of the class just yells, <laughs> And I'm sitting there like, oh shit, the abbreviated form of the word for two weeks became so popular that they turned it into a game. I remember for the next few months, every single time I was walking at lunch and just, like, happened to eavesdrop someone's conversation, it always, like, was about Fortnite. I'd, I'd just hear, like, a group of, like, first years talking about it. It was fucking horrifying. It's like, it felt like I was being haunted by the word Fortnite everywhere I went, and it fucking drove me insane. Like, just hearing some first year, like, shout over to his friends, Guys, I got the Victory Royale last night. It was very epic games. Like, th th that was fucking torturous. Like, if you have kids, and they're within an age range of 7 to 13 years old, and they look like this, I strongly advise that you whip out the old golf club from you or your husband's shed, take your kid out of the back, and whack his fucking head into the stratosphere. Alright, so I've done quite a few exciting things in 2018. You know, I went to Sulu, it was a beautiful city, it's in Spain. Uh, they had great hotels, great food, uh, it was the fucking sunsets that were uh, beautiful there. But the only thing wrong with the area was the the fucking surrounding air temperature was like 5060 Kelvin. Along with being stopped every 15 seconds on the street by some man in his mid 40s trying to sell me a football shirt. I went to that park that has a massive fuck off roller coaster that shoots up into the air and I didn't go on it because I'm a pussy. They also had some mental fucking thing called Shambhala I think it was which is the highest roller coaster in Europe. Um, the Ferrari thing doesn't count since it's not really classed as a roller coaster. Um, it's, it's just like, a, I don't know, it's like a fucking SpaceX launch pad. But it was a good place, I wouldn't go again since I was like dying a heat stroke every time I tried to get sleep at night, but you know, it was, it was still a good place. As any of you of the channel uh, are aware of, which is like, probably about four of you out of the 65 subscribers that I've got, uh, I got to meet Pyrocynical last year as well in October. He was a proper swell guy, like, uh, I gave him some shite fan art with an M14 gang meme on the bottom and he, th and he thought it was quite the piece. He even called me a chief, but I'm, I'm glad to hear that Pyrocynical thinks that I'm Master Chief John117 for Halo. You can check out a vlog that I did where I went to Resonate here, or I'll put it in the description or some shit, I don't know. Finally, I did something godly. Something that only true men can achieve. I started watching Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Help me! Oh my god! 
I initially watched it so I could get the full experience of the first couple of parts, uh, just to learn some poses two weeks prior to Resonate, so my friends and I could do some poses with Pyro. But I started legitimately enjoying it. I tried to do Caesar's pose, but fucking failed horribly at it. L like, if I went now, I could have done Killer Queen's pose, far superior to Funny Pancake Man's pose. Also, I'd like to point out, after me and my friends asked Pyro to do Jojo poses with us for the photo, he said that he didn't know any Jojo poses at all and just posed randomly. And now you'll notice after that that all of his recent videos have at least one Jojo reference in them. Jotaro, shut the fuck up, I have a pistol, oh my god. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. Okay, before I end the video, I just need to inform you that my upload schedule might be a bit random and maybe one video every 10 days or something instead of being once a week. This is because your boy, your family man, Brogol, has some exams coming up in a week or two and I kinda need to know what I'm actually doing for it. Like, I don't want to grow up to be a fucking packet of cocaine with arms and legs, so I hope you mongoloids can understand that. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, stay in school, don't play Fortnite, and I'll see you cunts in the next shithole of a video.